Asthma and allergies are up, especially in developed countries. Dr. Kim Mulvihill reports on an experimental approach to treatment that's not for the squeamish. It's springtime and people <laughs> are sneezing. More Americans are suffering from allergies, asthma, and other immune system disorders. The trend is seen in industrialized countries around the world, and experts are worried. There's a lot of concern that something that we're doing differently from the way humans did it for a very long time is causing this really dramatic increase in allergies and asthma over the last 50 to 60 years. So what's different? Well, some point to the hygiene hypothesis that we've become too clean for our own good. Is there something about getting down and dirty early in life when we're kids that's beneficial to a developing immune system? Being outdoors and in the dirt is, is a good thing. Allergy expert Dr. Homer Boucher of UCSF says for the proof, look no further than the human body. We're jam-packed with microbes. You could describe us as muni buses for microbes. There are more bacterial cells in us than there are us cells in us. He says coexisting with these microscopic creatures may help maintain a healthy immune system. With that in mind, a growing number of Americans are choosing to coexist with creatures often found in the human gut and dirt. I got infected probably in the last week of January of 2006. The creatures? Hookworms. It's not a fringe therapy. What it is is an experimental scientific therapy. Jasper Lawrence says severe allergies and asthma wrecked his life. Medications offered little benefit and caused tremendous weight gain. A documentary hooked him on trying hookworms for a cure. He soon found himself in Cameroon, Africa. It's a dangerous place, Cameroon. Lawrence walked barefoot across open-air latrines in order to get infected with hookworms. And when a person first gets infected, they'll get a an itch at the site where they enter your skin, you might get a cough, and you're going to feel a little fatigued, you might experience some diarrhea. But once home, he says his allergies and asthma disappeared. Now the Silicon Valley entrepreneur is helping others by incubating the worms in his gut. Right now I'm hosting about 75 hookworm. One beneficiary, 36-year-old Todd Troutman, who before using hookworm suffered from severe allergies and asthma. Completely cured. Absolutely gone. That was actually the, the most successful aspect of it. I have no, no asthma issues at all. Today, Troutman's a true believer and can handle the reactions of friends and family. People are, are almost always horrified. I've, people, I've had people take two or three steps backwards like they're going to somehow be infected. As for how hookworms help, here's one theory. So maybe the presence of hookworms leads to signals that our body detects that damp down the immune response that we see in these situations. So presence of hookworms could be associated with suppression of immune allergic type responses. Quite a plausible theory. However, Dr. Boucher would like to see rigorous clinical trials. Of course, ideally, I'd like to see us figure out what, is, what part of the hookworm is responsible for this benefit so we could develop a ther therapy we could give without actually having to infect people with a parasite that, after all, does cause problems. Like anemia, for Todd, it was worth the risk. I have absolutely no regrets at all. Dr. Kim Mulvihill, CBS 5 Health Watch.